Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker. And for today's lesson, I want to go, on, go over something that is a very common error among a lot of students. And I just want to make sure people don't make this mistake. So what I'm going to do is we're going to multiply a whole number by a fraction, right? Now I'm going to do it the wrong way. And I'm going to show you why it's wrong, right? This is what a lot of people would do if they saw like five times three eighths. Now when you're multiplying fractions, you don't need a common denominator, so we don't have to find an LCD or any of that. We can just multiply straight through. But this is what a lot of people do. A lot of people would end up with 15 over 40, right? You know why they end up with 15 over 40? Because they do five times three and they do five times eight, right? But think about this. If you have 15 40 if we reduce or simplify this fraction, you think of the common factor between 15 and 40, which would be the number five, because five can divide evenly into each of these numbers. So if I do 15 divided by five, that becomes three, and 40 divided by five, that becomes eight. So let's think about this logically, because math is all about logic, right? How can I do five times three eighths and still end up with three eighths? That's ridiculous, that can't happen. So this is proof that doing it this way is incorrect. What you gotta do whenever you have to multiply a whole number by a fraction, is you have to imagine that that whole number actually was a fraction. And the way, the trick for turning a whole number into a fraction is you give it a denominator of one. So even if the one is not written, you gotta still respect it and treat it like it's there. So then you would do five, five over one times three eighths, and then you can multiply straight across horizontally, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Five times three is 15, and one times eight is eight. And this is an improper fraction, right? Because your numerator is bigger than your denominator. So we wanna convert this into a mixed number. So how many eights can fit into 15? One whole group of eights can fit into 15. So that's gonna be one for our whole number part. And then how much is left over? You do 15 take away eight, which gives you seven. That's your numerator. And then you keep the same denominator. So five times three eighths is actually 15 eighths or one and seven eighths. But what you gotta remember is whenever you have to multiply a whole number by a fraction, that invisible denominator under the whole number, you gotta act like it's there, right? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, you throw trash on the ground, you think nobody's watching, you should still pick it up. Well, you, you know, you shouldn't just leave it there. You should still pick it up just because you don't think nobody's watching. Act like that one is there at all times. That's today's lesson.